Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepi at gmail.com. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to help traders to build algorithm trading robots. It can backtest and live trade with inter interactive brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. You can download Average Pi from www.averagepi.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials are coming. This tutorial, I'm going to talk about using Average Pi to request many historical data at the same time. When we want to request many historical data, it happens, the error happens, and we just want to focus on how to handle the potential error, potential errors during this uh, request and by catching exceptions. The basic concept of handling errors in, and exceptions in Python based on uh, the core function is called try and catch. The basic idea is like this. In the code, if if the code detected any errors, critical errors, then the way to ha handle the errors gracefully is to raise exceptions when error happens. So the keywords in Python is just a raise and then what can, kind of exceptions you want to raise. This is to trigger the exception handling event. Then, the other part is to how to handle the exceptions using the keyword which is catch, which means in your code you can catch using the keyword catch to catch the exceptions raised inside your code because this is the expected uh, errors can happen and this is the expected uh, errors. So you catch this exception and then handle it gracefully so that the code will not terminate at some time you don't want so so that we call it gracefully handle errors using try and catch and then later i will give you a demo to request many historical data with some bad contract contract symbol so that if when we when we're using for loop and request historical data the request will fail at the fake symbol and then we want to gracefully handle this error. Average Pi. Average Pi has switched from terminate the code to catch exceptions. Let's check out the release note. Because previously Average Pi will stop when it detected any errors, but uh, recently, we decided to throw exceptions and give the users a chance to handle exceptions gracefully. You can see if we go to average pi and go to release note, you will find out from version major version 12, we switch to risk exceptions instead of termination. And so that uh, we have a runtime exception and a customer errors actually, so that the client can catch these exceptions and handle exceptions gracefully. To, to the code to give you uh, a demo about throwing exception and catch exception in iBridge Pi. Let's switch to example request historical data retry. Uh, in, in initial lights, we define a symbol as py, and then in handle data, we run a function called retry request historical data. This function is a customized function. The goal of this function is still request historical data, and uh, we want daily bar, and we want to go back five days. However, we know there might be some 
connectivity issues or some any other issues and uh, the request uh, historical data may fail. But in iBridgePy, we want to gracefully handle this error so that we introduce the try-catch, try-accept method here. Try-accept is looks uh, works like this. So you put your main function into the try block. Then when this function fails, iBridgePy will raise an exception, which is runtime error exception. And so that when the normal flow, if everything good, the code will only run the block in the try area in the in the try block so the exception won't be triggered and then this function will return a uh, historical data from id server however if any failure happens request historical data will raise exception then it will be catched by the accept block you can see try this if it fails the code will run this part and it only catch runtime exception runtime error if other errors are caught the code will stop but it will gracefully handle runtime error so if it fails then it goes to this block which is sleep three seconds and try it again also i put retry three times use a while loop so that this retry will work for three times until it re reach three times and then it will fail so right now because the uh, connectivity is pretty good if we run this code you won't see any error let's run it you can see there's no difference than our regular request historical historical data just regular and there's no no retry as a demo i want to try something like this let's print sleep three seconds to tell me we are doing the retry however instead of request historical data i just want raise runtime error run like this and then let's run this code again you can see this time the code stopped actually slipped for three seconds and then none what happens is instead of request historical historical data artificially i raise a runtime exception so which means there's something wrong but this is artificial this is just a fake for demo runtime error so that the code cannot continue to break and then the code jump to line 37 because i raised a runtime error and it was caught by the accept, accept block. And then start to sleep three seconds, sleep, print out sleep three seconds, try it three times, but still failed. And then the code come back to this part. At this moment, this function does not return anything. So his is none. When we print out, this is none here. So this is how we how the try accept uh, gracefully handle the error let's switch to another example this time is like this the goal of this code is to request multiple historical data at the same time we define a list of symbols use xle spy and artificially a bad symbol this is just a bad symbol actually there's no symbol called bad symbol so that if we use our regular way to request historical data it will fail because there's a 
bad symbol and average pi will complain and say I cannot get any meaningful contract from IB server and I stopped. However, after we switched to from the termination to uh, try cache exception, it can be gracefully resolved. So we use so first we use a for loop to request a, histo a list of symbols. And then we request histor historical data. Daily bar, five days. If everything successfully, return a hist and we print it out. Then we want to save it to local file for further use. So we give a file path, which is the current folder file name is looks like this. We print out the file name, tell us where the file is saved, and then we save it. The save is the save part is pretty simple because his is panda state frame. There's a two CSV file and you give it a file name, it will save it. But let's focus on the uh, the handling errors part. Because there is a bad symbol, so this function will fail. And sometimes it will pass. So when it passes, the happy pass is to save historical data. When there's something wrong, it will be caught by the except block. As I mentioned, this is a, when it fails, average pipe will raise a runtime error. And then it will print out which one failed, and then continue the for loop until everything ends. Let's run it. Switch to the error. Let's try to run this one. And run it. Okay, we can see for XLE it print out the result and the file is saved here. However, when average pi see a bad symbol, it complains no security definition has been found for this request. And print out it failed. And then it goes to the, the next one is SPY. SPY is a good symbol, so it got historical data and save it to a local file. Where is that? Let's go to see it. It's right there. If we open it, it's just a CSV file uh, transformed from a pandas data frame so that we have a, a, a way to gracefully handle the errors and we save the file for local uh, to, to local file and so that we can use it in the future. Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepy at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.